Well, fall is upon us and the leaves are going to be falling from the trees. We're cleaning up the landscape, pulling plants out of the gardens. And what do you do with all that stuff? Well, the one thing you don't want to do is bag it up and send it to the landfill. That takes up a lot of time and money and space in our landfills uh, that we really need for other things. And the material that's coming out of the landscape is so valuable that we can compost it and turn it into this rich organic matter that we can use as either a mulch or in a soil amendment. Now there's lots of ways to compost uh, your landscape plant material. The simplest way is just to find a corner in the yard and dump everything in that corner and allow it to just over time naturally decompose. Or you can create some nice fancy bins which make it a little more convenient to manage. Um, and in this case here we have a three bin system where we have stages of composting going on all at the same, you know, at, at, at the same time. And in this case, the, we have a pile that's already completely composted. It's all ready to use out in the garden. Um, we have another one in a different stage here, which is, actually looks like it's had some fresh material added to it, and another smaller pile. And so over time, uh, you can, you can, you've got a pile that you can use currently, right now, in your garden. And then uh, by the time you get maybe through that pile, one of these other piles might be ready. There's also some great commercial uh, products that are available, such as this compost tumbler uh, that we have here. And this is a really convenient device. You can uh, actually has this nice big tumbler here on, uh, on some wheels, and you can just turn it, and this allows you to keep that compost um, churned uh, more easily and regularly, rather than having to do it uh, with a pitchfork or a shovel or something like that. This helps keep the oxygen uh, level good inside the compost pile, and it's got a convenient door on it as well, which allows you to access the pile much easier. And just bring it up here, flip open the, the latches here, and uh, look at that nice uh, compost that's already taking place in there. As you can see here, we have a nice pile of grass clippings and leaves. We mowed just the other day to get the leaves off of the turf areas and, and as well as to cut the grass. And this provides that nice green uh, material that, uh, that it becomes a nitrogen source for you as well as has that nice carbon material. And we would just toss all this in here and, and uh, mix it in with our other plant material. And this is the beginning of the process. And now you want to make sure that you have that good balance uh, of uh, green material or nitrogen source as well as the carbonaceous material. You need to make sure it stays moist so on really dry days you need maybe maybe get out here and, and water it um, so that the composition decomposition process will start to, will take place. If it's not doesn't seem to be working very well then you need to come in and maybe take a look at what you have in the pile. Uh, maybe there's not enough green material or nitrogen so you may have to add a little bit more uh, or vice versa or maybe it's dry so you need to um, you know, make sure that you have all those ingredients and, and keep the pile turned as well for good oxygen in the middle of the compost pile. Now you can throw just about anything from the garden into the, into the pile um, and you can take some of your food scraps from your, the kitchen. Uh, vegetables and fruits are fine in the compost pile. But things that we don't want to put in the compost pile, uh, bones, meats, greasy materials, obviously plastics and things like that. Uh, we don't want to put in uh, diseased plant material. Uh, because generally those disease organisms aren't going to be killed in a compost pile and then if you use it back, use it as a you know, source for uh, mulch or an amendment in the soil, then you're returning those organisms to the, to the garden. So you want to, those types of plant material, those that are diseased, you might want to destroy those and get rid of those rather than using the compost pile. Now, I mentioned that it does have to heat up and if the comp decomposition process is actually taking place and doing well, then the center of the pile will heat up to about 140, 160 degrees, and that's where we want it to be. And one way to measure it is to get uh, a composting uh, thermometer here, and we can stick that in here and uh, into the center of the pile and see how hot it is. Once it starts to cool down to about 100 degrees or less, then that means you need to turn the pile again. And so you continue to do that until finally it just doesn't heat up anymore and you have this nice rich material here. Well, the composting process can seem a little intimidating, but don't get too discouraged. There's lots of uh, material out there. We have some fact sheets and there's other publications that can help you get started.
But again, the simplest pile is just taking everything from your garden, throwing it into a corner, and allow nature to do its thing. And you'd be really surprised what great organic matter you can get from the compost pile. Thank you.